with qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Strong, Verstappen and Alexander Albon. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 19 victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. The Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, a track that will certainly force the drivers to push themselves. It consists of a very impressive main straight going into turn one. It's a straight that also offers a DRS zone, so it's likely to be a hot spot for overtakes. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's talk about Strong. What do you make of their performance so far this season? They've been avoiding mistakes and had solid pace, so it's been a good season so far, but whether they can keep that up long term remains to be seen. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Strong lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Albon, Sete Camera, Carlos Sainz, and King, Bottas, Ocon, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Leclerc, Gasly, Daniel Ricciardo, and Giovinazzi, Aitken, Latifi, Nick De Vries and Mick Schumacher, Giotto, Russell, Matsushita and Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Thank 
expected. No rain ex They're in third. As things stand, we'll be leading the championship. Copy that. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights.